What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Told by T. Today, I am reacting to the season finale of New York Girls TV. So by now, when you're seeing this, that means all the other episodes are available in a playlist and down below in the video description with the link so that you can watch the series all the way through. What I need y'all to do is let me know if you want me to react to season two or should I move on to another series? Let's go ahead and get into it. This is New York Girls episode 10, Perfect Timing. <laughs> All right, so we got a previously clip in the beginning. Ty is cheating on Stacy. And we also find out that Taj is transgender. Um, so, I have a question. Why were you friends referring to you as he? Is there something you can tell me? Since I was 14, I um, identified myself as a guy. And since then, I went to a therapist with my parents and um, they diagnosed me with gender identity disorder, which means that I'm transgender. I hope that doesn't change my mind. It doesn't. It was just I wasn't, just kind of thrown off. I didn't he this, and I'm just like way out of, like, I had no idea. Um, I know now. I'm going to go clean up. Okay, we got a little recap of our characters. That was nice for the last episode. So when's the last time you spoke to Cam? Come on, Maya. That's what you got to go over here and talk about. She's fine. No, no, you know what I told you? She's family. And that's important. And this bickering that you two have going on, it has to stop. What are they bickering so about? That's exactly why I'm going to go. What? Yes. Wasn't Han Cam just good? They was talking about uh, Taj? <laughs> Did I miss something? Hey, baby. It's so good. Thank you. Yes. 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 But I'm sorry, Miss Maya. I don't know what the fuck that is. He's a boy that identifies himself as a girl, and I just don't understand that. Sometimes you just gotta accept. Yeah, that that's that's parents. Well, it's not right, but that is, that's parents. You gotta take your time and explain it. If you decide to go down that path, take the time to explain it to your family and friends so that they don't say shit like that. Cameron, your mom just texted me. You're supposed to go pick up Camille. Oh, shit. It's an hour ago. Yeah, good to see you. So they didn't even get to say nothing to each other. Maya. You probably need to say bye. What's going on? All 
this tension between you two? It's bothering me. It's bothering me too. But so how are we gonna fix it? It's time to fix it. I'm not fixing shit until she apologizes. Why can't you be the bigger person? I always gotta be a bigger person. Mom, I'm tired of being a bigger person. Always love her. No, she's always. your family. I know, but sometimes we need each other. I cannot stress it how important family is. Two weeks ago. Okay, so now we are gonna see what exactly happened. Is Camille's dance teacher? Like a really good friend for me the past few months. Yeah, this is such a gentleman, and he treated me so nice. But I just feel like it's too soon. Like I feel like things are kind of developing into some kind of relationship. And although that's not what we established, I feel like that's what, like I feel like we could relationship. So I feel like we should kind of like slow down or just be friends you feel like we're in a relationship kind of yeah i mean i don't mind the dates and the hanging out and stuff but i just feel like i'm getting too close to you and i feel like i don't want to get attached to anybody so soon that was well articulated that was really sure. well spoken because you can definitely tell when you're kicking it with somebody and when it crosses that line into being something more and now there's like some type of accountability or attachment that's going on that makes things different. So you know, trans, it has nothing to do with it has nothing to do with that. I swear it has nothing to do with that. Whatever, Maya. It has nothing to do with it that. It has everything to do with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Not you getting all fussy now, all about something that you decided to keep to yourself. Right after I said you trans. Well, that's what happened, but that don't mean that that's what's happening. Well, I don't think that's something to tell you. What is it? I'm not necessarily single. What do you mean you're not necessarily single? Are you single or you're not? Word. Well, me and my, I, my girlfriend be cheating on me. So, so <laughs> basically, I'm like, I'm sick of it, but I, I'm not happy. So. so you decided to cheat on her. And then you have the nerve to tell me after we have sex? Listen, listen, I didn't think it was that big of a deal because what? the way everything is going right now is so not going to go nowhere. Nah, nah. That's, that's crazy. You don't have to leave, though. Nah, I do have to leave. That's something important. That's private information, you know? Oh, you at her house? Oh, no. I'm not legal. I haven't been to mommy before. Can you call your dad? No. I gotta be out of my head to do with you. And I gotta be out of my head if you sit with you. See, I love you, but I don't like that. Keep leaving and coming right back. What you gonna do? How you gonna play this? So I want me a switch and pour me some liquor before we start to pick up. Yeah. 
Jeffrey Dunn to get You already knew that she was cheating on. <laughs> you gonna run after her? Yeah, she about to run after him. That's crazy. She didn't even know. Like, you about to fuck her up or something. She didn't even know. Keep walking. Don't stand in front of nobody's projects. Keep walking. Keep walking. Walk. <laughs> you don't stand in front of nobody's projects. You, you walk with a destination in mind. Don't come back over here no more. 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 Oh, she's really, she's really hit her. Wow. If I see you over here again, I'll fuck you up. If I see you over here again, I'll fuck you up. No one got involved. They probably saw the camera. I'm getting cussy in here. I'm tired of everybody thinking I'm fucking irresponsible. You just had that girl outside in the cold. With a steady income and my own place. No, my mother's not going to take me seriously until I take her to court. If you're going to take this to court, you have to prove that you're purchasing her by marrying Barbie. You need a witness that can verify that they're actually in her life. Well, I have you and I have Maya. We need someone with credentials in a close relationship with a male, like a coach or a teacher or something. Do you know anyone? Oh, okay. Okay, fine, then. I'll help you under one condition. What is it? If I agree to be a witness and vouch for you, you have to help me get my back. Mm-mm, that's grimy. She gonna do it, though. Okay, deal. I know what you're thinking. Camera ain't shit. Like, like she said, Maya, of all people. But listen, I know my cousins. No matter what Ashley does, Maya's not taking her ass back. I did not kiss that girl. Is that what Alex told you? I knew nothing about the hood, and I never thought I'd get a chick on the project. Yo, that speech kills me. Look, I want my daughter, and I can use all the help that I can get. How I get it. It's selfish, but now she's not that bad. Nah, don't justify your actions. Just call it what it is. Hey. Hey. Thanks for the flowers. Flowers? I didn't get you any flowers. You must have got that from somebody else. That's awkward. Awesome. Flowers, you did. Last time we spoke, you didn't want anything to do with me. Why? That is not what she said. She did not say she didn't want anything to do with Taj. All she said was that she wanted to pump the brakes a little bit. Come on. Look, I, I don't want to talk right now. I'm busy. She on my phone. Who's this? Hey, 
Hey, girl. You see new characters there. in the finale? Oh, that's the friend. Don't just open your door. Look through the... Yeah, okay. No, don't. You can leave that shit at the door. Really? You getting jumped in your own house? Jumped in your own house. Couch though. Leave. Stupid bitch. And I'm leaving. I don't want to fuck with you. I don't want to hear from you. Don't call me. Don't text me. Nothing. Leave. We am fucking done, you fucking stupid bitch. Like, you sitting here rolling a blank. You can't fucking pay attention to me. Fuck you. Stupid bitch. I don't give a fuck. I will. I will. Fucking stupid bitch. So how long will it be till you see how bad I need this? I'll give you all if you please never leave. I need to keep it. You have the right idea. Keep walking. Hey, you should never touch no one before. I am the heart that you are. Secret plans by the door.
We can call it Taj. Can you come over? I'm already here. Open your door. Aww. He was already coming to see her. I've got the drawers after all. We ain't seen Maya in a set that ain't matched yet. <laughs> she was like, y'all not catching me on camera with a bra and panty that don't match. I don't have to say friends anymore. I want to take it to the next level. Tomorrow I have tickets to a show on Francisco Garden at 7 o'clock. Okay. If you show up, I know I'm going to say it's about this. And if you don't, then I don't know what to take you from there. 7 o'clock? Yeah. How does this work? I don't know. Okay. See, if Cam was smart, she could have just told Maya what was up and been like, yo, pretend to get back with Ashley so that I could get my kid and then just dump up. Like, work together, work together. And try and, instead of trying to get one over on. Call your cousin, apologize. You know you are. Uncle Magic. Quick story time. I saw him. I was working at Target. He came in for a skateboard. I'll never forget it. So he comes in for the skateboard. At this time, I did not know who this man was. And he had just did, like not just just, but a couple months ago, I did a birthday party for my youngest brother. So... I get, I don't know. I don't know if he recognized me and then I didn't recognize him and it made him feel, I don't know what it was, but he came in for a skateboard and I was like, yeah, we don't have them. And he was like, do you know who I am? And I was like, no. And he was like, I'm Uncle Magic. And I was just like, okay, weirdo. Like it was just hella weird. Like it was 
and then one of my coworkers came up. I'm not gonna say her name, but if she ever sees this video, she'll probably remember this incident. One of my coworkers came up and was like, you don't know who that is? I was like, no. <laughs> and she's like, that's Uncle Magic. And I was just looking at the two of them like, okay, that's cool. I don't know if he thought that somehow him being Uncle Magic was going to get him a skateboard, but we really didn't have one. What you took over Alex's crib? Yeah. She did tell him that she wasn't ready, so the whole ultimatum, you know, show up or I know that you're not serious was kind of unnecessary. Okay, it's a wrap on New York Girls episode 10. That's the series finale, season finale, correction. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to react to season two right away or if you want to pause on New York Girls and I react to another lesbian web series. Cam and Maya are not speaking. Taj was left out in the cold. Cam has Camille now. I'm interested in seeing what happens. Make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe. Talk to me in the comment section. I do talk back and I'll check y'all out in the next one.